We've returned to the ten home monoliths where Jay and I have found several caves, artifacts and what appear to be carved animals dating back to the late Younger Dryas. How the f*** can they talk? I can barely breathe. That's us at 3,300 metres above sea level. The air's gotten really thin. It's not getting any easier, is it? Oh. You can see down over the Bogota Sabana now. There's Bogota in the distance, about 10 miles. There's El Mahoy. And this was all filled with water in the Younger Dryas known as Lake Bogota or Lake Humboldt named after the famous explorer Alexander von Humboldt We're heading up to the first monolith where Jay and I found the mastodon carved into the sides of the stone oh. Jen, how are you feeling? Aha Says it all Oh, I'm down on my knees Oh my good Lord Oh Oh Jen, what do you see? I see a mammoth Trunk. Look underneath It's carved out Go and have a look for tool marks Look at it Now look up the trunk To the eye Yeah, the eye's on Look at the bulbous eyebrow, the ridge, raised brow ridge. Darko's underneath inspecting this carved out piece. This could look worked a little. Uh -huh. There are lines and they are the same color or very similar color to the rest of the rock. Uh -huh. And that tells me that that has a certain age to it. This looks like it's been taken away. Stand there and look up. Do you feel you're looking up into the face of an animal? Yes, up. there's no doubt about that. Um, elephantine type of a feature. That looks like an eye of a mastodon, obviously, because we're in South America, not in Africa. And that looks like a trunk. That, there's, there's no doubt about that. And would you interpret that up on the top, the double cranial boss, which a mastodon had, two bumps in the head. You're talking about the ridge right there, right? Yeah, the two bumps. The two bumps? Well, look at the, look at the, that is so defined. It could be, we would have to climb on top of the rock to see that. So what we need to do is get up on top and see what's happened up there. And if there's any more evidence to, for or against the idea that that's a mastodon. It's wonderful to get your perspective on this, and especially when we come up here and see the next level of it. That's a head and the trunk, yeah. and the hump at the back, Damn. yeah, where, when, the, where the shoulders uh -huh. stood up. Yeah. When we ran this image through AI, uh -huh. it identified eight points zoomorphically similar to a mastodon. The AI replied, It's clearly defined dorsal ridge, cranial dome, trunk-like projection and ocular depression imply intentional shaping to create a zoomorphic figure, suggestive of elephants, mammoths and mastodons. Supporting this, Notio mastodon remains were excavated nearby at Elabra in the 1960s, radiocarbon dated to 10,400 BC. Even if it's purely natural rock, yeah, it's in the shape of the freaking animal. So how about we get up on top and check it out? Just come in, Walt. Oh, oh. Down below, about 20 meters is what we thought was the mastodon. Could you have a look around here and share some observations if you have any? Yeah. But, uh... So this would be the back of the mastodon, Jane. You go down there with them in front of me. Right. Well, I'm careful, careful, I'm there's a high baby. drop. I'm coming up with you. Yeah. Isn't the reptilian plaque in that direction somewhere? I'm guessing between those two peaks. 
if you had a compass and stood up at the peak of this here, this rock, yes. it points to within three to six degrees from the reptile temple that we featured it in does. our earlier film. It's a great observation. Of course, it's a big natural rock, so they wouldn't have moved it into place, but certainly they could have had a hand in pointing it, yeah? Yes. Possibly, but yeah, that is right there. The reptile temple is on the oh, other yeah. side of the peak there, El Mahoy, through the gap, the Alabra. So yes. This is a natural Guadalupe formation. This area looks like that formation has been weathered through time. Now the big question is, could they have enhanced these rocks to look more like animals? I see somebody painted a white dot. That's, an, that's a football team, a soccer team from, from um, Bogota. It's horrific, it's vandalism on potential archaeology. Don't start me about it, it makes me sick. This is worked. Yep. There's no doubt about it. Even this uh, section is worked. This is not weathering, this is not weathering. This is human agency here. Look at this section here. Uh -huh. That's been worked. This is very smooth and flat. And you can see that that's been very systematically taken away in a triangular form. You can even see the line here yeah. where the work stopped. Yeah. But look at that. The vertical lines every kind of centimetre going down the front. Look carefully. Well, See it like a comb shape. Yeah. This has been polished. And there's nothing else on that rock like that. No. But the entire area of work goes this way. Yeah. Look at the colour. The, there's no difference in colour. So wherever the work here that has been done in the past must have been done a long time ago. Because we have another hand of man here Where? that tells us that it's fresh. Really? Look at something that looks like an eight in a, in a rectangle. Oh yes, a piece of vandalism. Piece of vandalism. Okay. See the lines, how they are white? Yep. Against the background? Yep. Whereas in these lines here, we oh, don't see yeah. any difference in color. Yeah. This is new and that tells you this is fresh. Aha. Uh -huh. This is old. Okay. So now Darko's made some observations around the rock. I'm going to share with them what Jay and I saw when we first came across this. We see a raised cranium, uh -huh. a curved trunk and a crack where the eye would be, suggesting a smaller mastodon, with this here being the raised bump or the energy sack in the back, going back to the hind quarters. If you think that's been carved by the hand of man like we do, do you think it suggests they've tried to form the curvature of the trunk, possibly? Looking at the shape from a profile, I, I can see why you, you and Jay uh, making that suggestion. That looks like a cranium of a mastodon, and then there's an obvious curve, very suggestive of a trunk of a mastodon. <laughs> Elephant in shape. Obviously, this is South America, so they had to be mastodons. I can see that. Oh! What have you found, Jen? Well, I mean, it kind of looks like tool marks. Where do you see tool marks? That's what we want to find. Like little jags. You could argue because they, they all seem to have the same yeah, angle. exactly. That may have been broken off because this is also fairly uh -huh. flat. And look right here. See? Down. This yeah. is like a chisel getting into the rock. Yeah. Okay. Dark who's convinced that that front part where we think is the trunk has been smoothed off just like Jay and I figured in the last film Suggesting this is a cub mastodon and the front one is perhaps the mother This one being about a third of the size of the front one Walter, what do you think about the front, the trunk at the front, the smoothing? That marble patch Down This here the whole area has been worked. This has been polished for some reason. Sure. The, uh, the turkey, just a crack of the different material. And then that fine line that goes here stops here. And look at the channel here. Mm -hmm. They've been worked this way. And that looks like it broke off unintentionally. But look, from the other side, there's no smoothing or enhancement because you don't see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you look at it closely, can you see these verticals? Yeah. And that, and, and you can feel, it's like bumpy. You can feel, you can feel. I can see them. Yeah. So from here, it's harder to interpret them as mastodons, but from a distance, you look over and it's like looking at a zoo. As we mentioned earlier, the yeah. other way you would go, the resolution increases uh -huh. and you see better the shapes. Uh -huh. 
there is a point where you're too close and you see nothing. Yeah, that's right. Oh, there's no question that that's been worked. Yeah. It's been enhanced to be seen from this path. From this side, uh -huh. the profile is suggestive of a mastodon. That reminds me of the one, the indentation on the one below. I see the similarity there. There's a, almost the same feature under the end of the track. Mm -hmm. Mastodons went extinct 9800 BC. They had to have done this before they went extinct. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you sculpt the mastodon if you haven't, if you haven't seen them? Yeah. And this looks like the makings of a cub that hasn't been completed. The bump in the back. Yeah. So it's almost like a family of mastodons, a mother and two cubs. The surface looks like it may have been worked. This is the natural surface. This is flattened. Or it looked enough like a mammoth to them to serve the purposes from a distance. A mother and two cubs okay. from distance. Yeah. That was a successful operation. Darko the archaeologist also sees signs that these rocks were carved to resemble mastodons. He sees the proboscis, the trunk, at the front of both of the rocks. He sees the potential eyes. He sees the raised cranium brows. And he sees the energy sacs carved on the backs of the two mastodons. Exploration of the Bogota Sabana continues. We're making our way down this path and underneath the giant beast is the cave in which Jay and I found the pot and the bone. Put the torch on that, Jay. What have you found here? It looks a whole the last look at it. Is it clay? Whoa, really? Yeah. That's an archaeological artifact, Jay. You have found a little handmade clay pot. There we go. You've got fingerprints around the top. You can see how it's been finger pressed and then pushed on the bottom. Gee, wow, I'm absolutely stunned and a clay pot. That's a bone. Oh, wow. Look at it. I'll take that and put it in my pocket. Okay, we found a bone at the deepest chamber. Well, that looks old. What is that, Gee? It's really old. Small animal. Suggesting uh, ritual use, maybe. Let's get this tested, Gee. Yeah, definitely mate. Yeah? Yeah. Right, this is a little bit more dangerous, so be careful as you go here. Ow! As we... Oh! Don't touch that. Thorns. Oh, I see that. Look oh, at them. Oh, bad thorns. Bad thorns. Yeah, Good one. <laughs> That's what they are. So watch your hands here when you're okay. gripping. Oh dear. In other words, pay attention. I'm going to take the next bit inside a water layer. And we're approaching the cave in which Jay and I found the hand-pressed finger pot and the bone that featured in an earlier film. Let's see what the team have got to say about this place. So, Jen, Walter, Darko and myself are now in the cave in which Jay and I found the pot and the bone. Darko's making his way up into the back chamber of the cave. There. Right there. Take as far back as you can go. So Walter and Jen down there with the light. Look at that, torches. Great stuff, guys. That's where Jay found the pot, right there. Symbolically, in South American cultures, these deepest parts of the caves represented portals or gateways to the underworlds. I don't think there's anything here. Okay. okay. I'm already getting to okay. the to the rock. rock. Okay. The rock, yes. Darko, if you think you've investigated this part, we should maybe go and see if Jen can get, go and get up in that second alcove. Okay, have a look. Yeah? yeah. Look, at, can you tell me what this is? Look. Oh, it's another... Is that a bone? Can you see it's got the hole through the end? Why? No, that's... It's hollow on the inside. We will need to take that out. Oh, I think it's another bone, guys. Yeah. Let's get that out. Or is it bamboo, which looks like a knuckle? Let's get that out to the light and investigate it in the daylight, um, Darko. Yeah, but let's take this out. We can't throw it over our shoulders until we see it outside. No, let's have a look at this. Super. Right, guys, back to the daylight. Now, Walter, you can have a look at that, but let me film you doing it, okay? Let's see what they are. 
Okay. I think Fingers this, crossed. I think this is wood. I don't really? think joint or anything. Knuckle or bamboo, maybe. Oh, well, oh. there okay. we go. Yeah, it's wood. Oh, it does look like uh, where a tendon would come through a bone, like the first one we found. But this is that's bamboo. Yep. But that's been burnt too. Oh, has it? Oh, look at that. It yeah, has been burnt. Good observation. So that's signs of a fire. But it's wood nonetheless. Yeah, but the fact it's been burnt, that's cool. That Use shows it for that fireplace been... around these little alcoves that you have in here. Yeah, indeed. Anything in there, Jennifer? Yeah, I'm looking. Like this? That's, that's a rectangular shaped something, is it? Yeah. No. That's it's a natural the natural rock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, Jennifer, let's get you up in there. Okay, so let's do a transfer of the head torch. All right. All right, I'm following you. This is so exciting. So Jennifer's identified a shaft up here that we overlooked out on our first investigation. Yeah. Now be careful. Yeah. But are you okay going up there? Yeah, I'm okay. See, it goes to the surface right here. Oh That's yeah, there's why a shaft. Vegetation right in here. Okay, that answers why there's piles of leaves. And... Yes. It's... Okay. Do you need to stand on a hand or, or get a foot up or anything? You're brave. This is wonderful. Right, you're up. Is there enough room to crawl in there? Um, yeah, I might be able to crawl. Even part way? Yeah. You, what you want to do is get your eyes on the back of the chamber where, where any artifacts might be. Do you want the camera now? Yeah. Alright. Well... I'm getting video of everything back here. Maybe you guys can analyze it whenever I'm done. But I'm trying to get the top of it. Because it does go up high. It's just really narrow. Okay. I'm coming out. Nothing up in there. Well, it's really tight back there. Like, I've got video of how high it goes. But because this is open... To the elements, a lot of debris has fallen in here, but it was once open. You can tell that it was once open. Okay. Guys, I found another overhang cave structure over there. Ooh, it might be another monolith. Ooh. Let's go up here. I think there's another rock shelter. Look at that. 